You're watching Lifetime Celebrity Buzz. This might sting a little. So here's the buzz. According to Celebici.com, after all the Bloids ran their stories about Jessica Simpson and Tony Romo's split, a.k.a. Tony Dump Jess, she's mad and sad while he's out smiling and partying. Sound familiar? Star Mag reports that the night after Tony Dump Jess, he was caught canoodling with 43-year-old actress Michelle Johnson of Melrose Place fame. This is fantastic news on so many levels. Not for Jess, for whom I empathize beyond, but for all women over 40 everywhere. If you keep yourself in fight and shape, you too can canoodle with a football star. Speaking of Splitsville, Delisted.com reports that Janet Jackson and boyfriend Jermaine Dupree have called it quits after seven years. Seems Janet decided she wanted to keep her love life and work life separate. Not to mention Jermaine likes to be out on the scene, while Janet's more of a homebody, which can put a strain on any relationship. Hollywood or otherwise. Next, Britain's News of the World reports that Factory Girl star Sienna Miller and married millionaire Balthazar Getty are back on like there's no manana. In fact, the forbidden couple are allegedly looking for a house together. And while Sienna's ready to settle down and squeeze out a few cups of her own, Balthazar's not so into that. Though he did agree to move into a Chelsea flat with Sienna to the tune of four million pounds. Now, that's one pricey love shack. Speaking of pricey, People Mag reports that Ryan Seacrest, 34, just signed a three-year contract with American Idol to the tune of $45 million for the next three years. That's $45 million. AKA, quote, the biggest deal ever for a reality MC. Meantime, no one knows about whether Simon Cowell, who has to be paid about 100 mil per season, is going to stay or move on. And the National Enquirer reports that forever your girl Paula Abdul is fighting to double her salary to 20 million a year, or heck no, she won't go. I'll give you show me the money. No, really. Show me the money. Finally. According to Delisted, Megan Fox only watches her own movies with a little help from her 40-proof friends. As in America's hottest starlet admitted to The Sun, quote, I usually don't watch myself. I have a phobia of it. But I forced myself to sit down for Transformers 2. I shot an entire glass of champagne so I could get through it. Um, just one glass? Thanks for watching The Buzz. I'm Emily Stone. Be paid.